Hello, hello. Is that bat true? Hey, hey. Whoa, False. Hello. hello, everybody. Hello. What's everyone doing today? I hope Bad. everyone's doing so well today. Great. Hopefully. We fix the audio problem. Audio problems all fixed, I think. So. Okay, perfect. <laughs> all right, so we're back. Uh, welcome back to Getting That Medical Degree, where we talk everything medicine while you accompany us on our journey to get into medical school. Um, hopefully, this year for Zach, if he gets a DO letter, hopefully uh, this year for me, when I do my cat and I get a score of 527, you know, that's just easy. <laughs> so today's topic is five tips on how to be more productive part four right let's get into this productivity um <clears throat> i'll say stop waiting the perfect time the perfect day stop waiting for to be in the mood um you should start now you should start yesterday honestly whatever it is you need to do start don't wait until oh, don't wait until you are in the mood. Don't wait until you feel like doing it. Don't wait until because you're tired. So just start now. Um, another tip that I've been using is, is uh, start without all your equipments and parts. When we started this channel, we didn't really like have anything. Well, I mean, I didn't have anything to record or anything like that. So start with all your without your all, all your equipments and parts. Uh, I just started a a sport and I started without in the uniform and everything and i just kept on just showing up without the uniform and then it kind of like pushes your brain to like start like you start now then you try to figure out what exactly it is that you need and then you go from there you, know, you might not need yes you might see online that you need um so and so book to pass this test to, to ace this test you need so and so program but like just just start and see what works for you, what doesn't, and what you might need or might not need. Number three, get up early. Talking 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. If you're crazy, then you can do 4.30 a.m. Like the majority of the uh, people who actually make billions of dollars or CEOs or everything, they usually get up really, really early. Uh, but start, start getting up early, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And... <clears throat> Will give you extra hours so that also means you know have to go to sleep early um like you probably go to sleep at like 1 a.m don't you uh 12 1 wake up at 8 or 7 yeah so all right so try to wake up at least an hour two hours earlier than than what you're normally waking up to so try to go to sleep at 10 or 11. i know in college if you're listening to this and you're in college it's super difficult um because you know going out or studying or uh work whatever it is that you need to during college you you can't really go to sleep at 10 or 11 um but if you can more power to you please do it um on the weekends also you have to start when it says like getting up at 5 a.m 6 a.m or 7 a.m that's every day that doesn't just mean week weekdays that's like literally every day yeah like you have to get used to that you can't just have like a I'm just going to sleep in today, and that's actually that sleeping in is really bad for your... Well, it's not really bad, but it's bad for your health. Um, all right, let's get to number four. Don't say yes to everything. Hey, you want to join this club? Hey, you want to do this uh, project with me? Hey, you want to go out to this party? Hey, you want to... Um, whatever. You know? Don't say yes to everything. Be mindful that you are... <clears throat> just one person with one brain you can't really multi i mean you shouldn't multitask you shouldn't split yourself up so much and you should you shouldn't spread yourself out so thin um so don't say yes to everything you, your boyfriend is asking you to hang out but you have to study your your girlfriend is asking you to hang out but you have to study like you're gonna have a boyfriend or a girlfriend regardless with time right so it's gonna happen you're gonna get married or you're just gonna stay single if you want to uh you're gonna get your significant other it doesn't matter just say yes to everything i know that family functions and and some stuff are very important but you need to have time to do everything that you need to do um 
And number five, check email in the afternoon. All right, so in college, if you're in college, you should know this by now, that you're supposed to check your email every day, twice a day. Some people do it twice a day. I just do it once a day. Um, so you check your email, but check your email in the afternoon. Why? So you can save the morning when you're the most sharp, the most focused, the most agile, so you can study. So save the morning for studying. As soon as I wake up, I, I like go brush my teeth, I drink a glass of water, then I come back to my bedroom and I just get on and I start doing Anki Dex and I just start studying. And I feel like compared to me studying in the afternoon, in the morning, I'm absorbing it like a sponge. I'm like quick, quick, one, two, three, four. I just fly. I study and I do like, I just do a little bit of reading. So study for like an hour, study for like two hours if you're waking up two hours earlier. And in the afternoon, I study again, but like now, now I can, I can sense that my body is tired that my mind is tired. So check your email in the afternoon, whenever you're like more tired, so you can have time to <clears throat> reply, uh, to things from, from yesterday. Um, uh, you can check the e your email in the morning, uh, if you're doing twice a day, but like, make sure that you do first the hardest topic, the hardest subject, the hardest thing that you're supposed to do in the morning. Whether that be class or whether that be study to prepare for a test or prepare for class or prepare for work or whatever it is. This is a tip on how to be more productive. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I hope you guys take these five tips, apply it to your life or just take snippets of one or two and apply it to your life. But, um, let's get to the bonus. Of course, if you've li been listening to this, know that. Day, you know the way through the video it comes with a bonus so um use your commute time use your downtime use your cooking time um i know that you're not you shouldn't really multitask um but as long as you're not watching videos where you're commuting listening to an audiobook and you're getting your 30 minutes of reading a day you have a 30 minute commute um if you are in the kitchen cooking preparing a meal put an audiobook a, a YouTube video on or the professor about a professor or a documentary or something, uh, and just listen to it. Don't don't distract yourself. Don't get into an accident. Be careless, but use your commute time. Uh, some people take the bus. Some people walk to to class. So it takes you 15 minutes to walk. That's 15 minutes of your time that you can be learning something, that you can be listening to something. Um, if you're driving to work, or if you're driving to see your girlfriend, or if you're going out. <clears throat> the, the time that it takes you to walk between 10 and 15 minutes each day, it adds up full hours a day. That's two hours that you wasted not doing anything. A lot of people like to listen to, to music to relax, you know, that if you want to. Uh, what I do is I don't waste any time if I'm like cooking, listening to YouTube, um, usually videos and, and documentaries or, or, or a professor like a talk like a, like an actual class recorded by like Stanford or like Harvard University or anything like that I usually listen to them I listen to uh, anatomy classes while I'm cooking or I just like wake up and I'm like getting dressed I literally have like five minutes to get dressed and I put on a video and I just start getting dressed I'm listening to the videos I come out to have breakfast or I just start driving I listen all the way to the car and then I do it in my commute. So <clears throat> use use downtime, use commute time. Like, you know, if you're bored, pop something up, you know, like it's, it's, you should be productive. You should be trying to uh, make your mind stronger, brain learning constantly because you're getting into medical school. If you're getting into a medical degree, you're always going to need to be up to date with everything that is going on in the world and everything that is going on on your field. So you want to, you can start, <clears throat> you can start learning topics now that you're going to see in medical school, or if you're going to see in pre-pharmacy school, you can start learning topics that you're going to see in college. Like, oh yeah, I'm taking a psychology class next semester. Like you can start now. By that time, like whenever psychology class comes around, like you already know pretty much everything. And then to study like an hour a day and then boom you ace your test you pass with an a on your class you send all your a's to to medical school and then you get accepted into school and you know successful but, um hope you guys listen to this um tips if uh zach you have anything to add yeah i got another bonus tip for him surprise bonus <clears throat> tip you know 
Um, so have you ever heard of chronotypes, Mitchell? What? Chronotypes. Chronotypes, no. Chronotypes. So it's kind of how you said to get up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Well, people have different type of chronotypes. So you hear of night owl, morning oh, owl. Oh, 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 yeah. What, like a, like a bear, like a dolphin? Like yeah, a... so like if you figure out what your okay. chronotype is, and once you figure that out, you can figure out what yeah. your best time of study is. So study in the morning uh... doesn't work for me. Oh, but uh, I study better at night, so I study all right 10 p.m. to midnight when I study. There you go. So, yeah. <clears throat> some people study better at night, so if it works for you, then it works for you. Uh, some people don't know what to study or what time is better, so gotta get up early and see what happens. Yeah. Stick it for a month. Stick yeah, try it, it out. Month. Try it different times. Try it in the afternoon if you yeah. can, but I'm tired in the afternoon, so. Yeah, I'm I'm exhausted in the afternoon. At night, don't even don't even talk to me. <laughs> I'm like tired. So anyways, guys, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking staying right. this long. Peace.